Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rosberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Savoia Machete SM91. The Savoia Machete SM91 was an Italian long-range fighter bomber prototype designed to compete in a contract offered by the Regia Aeronautica to the Italian aircraft companies in 1938. In July 1942, the Regia Aeronautica, which is the Italian Royal Air Force, requested designs for a new aircraft propelled by the German DB605 engine capable of flying at speeds of up to 620 km per hour and uh, that which equals 385 miles per hour and then with a range of 1600 kilometers per hour or about a thousand miles the armament should consist of six mg 151 cannons in the nose and the wings a 12 points and a uh, 12.7 millimeter breta safat machine gun as a defensive weapon the um prototypes uh were designated mm530 and flew for the first time on march 11 1943 there were two prototypes, and the second, a modified SM-88 prototype. The machine flew at uh, the Vergetti and logged 27 hours in the next few months. It was advanced, but not entered into the official test at uh, Ganolia, perhaps because it was still undergoing testing. The first prototype was captured and sent to Germany in October 1943, which, after which it vanished and is presumed destroyed. The second prototype was captured by Germans, Incomplete when they occupied northern Italy in September 1943. This aircraft was tested on July 10th, 1944, but was destroyed by Allied bombers later in the year. So yeah, um, the SM-91 here, a very interesting aircraft. Um, quite a powerful one. Having six 20mm cannons mounted in the front here, this was really designed to definitely be like a bomber interceptor. Uh, just basically a really powerful ground attack aircraft. Um, so very strong aircraft, a very interesting one, but unfortunately one that did not see um, any use in all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool uh, aircraft nonetheless. And it's been a while since we've done an Italian aircraft as well, so fun to kind of revisit the Italian line and uh, build ourselves a cool kind of prototype and probably very uh, under known or recognized aircraft as well. Um, before we go and move into taking a look at the vehicle, I want to go and give special links to Patreon support Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions where you can go and put a small amount to the channel every month. And in doing so, or any of your core requests you're choosing it really helps support the work I do with my channel. It's obviously greatly appreciated. So feel free to check that out. Again, links are always in my video descriptions. However, with that, let's go and take a look here at the aircraft. So this aircraft here does host a twin boom uh, type design, so very similar to that, like the P. Uh, 38 and uh, various other World War II type aircraft. It's got a kind of a centralized control pod here with obviously the pilot and the um, rear gunner are going to be located. And then it has the wings and mounted on the wings are the two twin booms here which house the um, engines and we have the vertical stabilizer in the rear here and the horizontal stabilizer, stabilizer that goes across in between them. Uh, overall pretty nice looking aircraft. Uh, really kind of a fun one these uh twin boom aircraft are always very interesting and unique to me i think uh but yeah absolutely love the way it came out think it came think it's gonna make an awesome addition to any of your modern warfare worlds or but modern warfare but any of your world war ii worlds and um everything like that but yeah that's the aircraft this is only going to be the in-flight version as well since uh the aircraft would sit at an angle landed and we'd have to design a completely different design for that to actually work um with this design here but anyways, that's going to do it for this uh, overview of it. Let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer here, we'll be going ahead and starting off with layer number 3. Now we're starting with layer 3 because it gives us a better basis for the aircraft to kind of build layers 1 and 2 off of. Um, so that's where we're going ahead and starting with this point here. One thing I also want to mention is if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is we're going to be building the entire centerline of the aircraft and then we're going to take everything that... Uh, is on the center line and build the entire right side and then all you have to do is in between layers take the right side and copy it over to the left side. This aircraft is completely symmetrical so whatever we do on one side will be on the other side. Um, so yeah let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing we need to go ahead and do is we're going to be placing down a um, row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and 7 of our polished direct full blocks. We're going to then go to the direction we want our aircraft facing. So we're going to have it facing that direction there. We're going to place down a polished uh, diorite upside down stair, a diorite top slab, and then an iron trap door like that toward the front. And then section toward the back, so the opposite end, we're going to place down a row of three of diorite top slabs and then two iron trap doors there on the very end. Now after we have that done, 
We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some blocks. So we're going to use yellow concrete here as we can easily delete it later and tell it apart from the build. We're going to count back from the iron trapdoor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks back. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down an iron trapdoor, a direct up down stair, and then another uh, iron trapdoor come off that stair. And after we have that done, we can go ahead and then delete this row of eight here. After we have that done, go ahead and move into the sides. We're going to place down a skeleton skull come off the side of the stair. Going back from that, we're going to place down one and two white stained glass panes, followed by two diorite walls. And we then want to go and follow it up by placing down a row of two of diorite ups and down stairs, two diorite top slabs, and then an iron trap door. We're going to go and then place down a row of one, two, and three iron trap doors coming off that diorite wall. And then going back from those iron trap doors, we're going to place down two rows of, uh, or sorry, uh, three rows of two of polished, black, polished uh, diorite blocks going back, and then two iron trap doors come back from each one of those rows so just like that after we get this done we're gonna take our green terracotta we're gonna place down a row of one two three four five uh, across those blocks like so and then we're gonna go, and go one more block in both directions going toward the front here we're gonna place down a row of two of dark oak with top slabs and we then want to follow this up by going ahead and placing down a row of two of dark oak with signs on the sides of those top slabs after that we're gonna go and then place down a mossy cobblestone wall and then two green stained glass panes going toward the front here and then after we have that done going toward the rear here we're going to place down one two three four or sorry three uh mossy cobblestone walls and then three uh green stained glass panes and we want to go then take our white stained glass panes and place down a row three as well now once we get to this point we're going to take our green terracotta going to the front here next to the mossy cobblestone wall and the green stained glass panes here to place down three green terracotta blocks Followed by one more that sticks out toward the front here. On both sides of this green terracotta block, we're going to place down a dark oak trapdoor. And then a mossy cobblestone wall come up this green terracotta block like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, green stained glass panes back, mossy cobblestone wall, and two dark oak with top slabs back after that. And then a dark oak with sign come off the sides there of those top slabs. Once we have that done, we're going to go then take our black concrete and place down a row of two of black concrete here. In the very center. We're going to go then take our green terracotta and down our center line here we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 green terracotta blocks back. And then out here to the outside we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 green terracotta blocks, 1, 2, 3 mossy cobblestone walls, 1, 2, 3 green stained glass panes, and 1, 2, 3 white uh, stained glass blocks. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some diorite blocks again, and also some smooth quartz. We're going to place down a polished diorite block, a smooth quartz block, and then a narrow polished diorite block like so. And then we're going to place down a second polished diorite block, a polished diorite upside down stair. And then we're going to place down one and two polished diorite top slabs back, and then two iron trap doors coming off those two top slabs. After that's done, we want to go and then go from this iron trap door here in the center and build out the wing. One, two, three, four, five iron trap doors, and then one, two, three, four, five. And same thing right here, one, two, three, four, and five. So it should look something like this here for uh, basically those engines complete. And to go ahead and continue on to the outside here, uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by placing down a iron trap door, come off this second green terracotta block here. We're going to go ahead and then go back from it to polished blackstone or polished diorite top slabs and then two iron trap doors. We're going to repeat the same row one more time, like this out to the side here. And then we want to go and then do a row of four of iron trap doors, followed by a second row of four. And we're going to then do a row of three. So starting on the back here, one, two, three. And after we have that all done, that's going to basically wrap it up here for this layer, layer number three. Here's what it should look like from up above here once we have everything complete for the layer. You're going to take what we do on the right side, flip over to the left side, and this is the overall view you should have uh, with this layer complete. Anyways, that's going to do it for layer three. Let's move down to layers uh, one and two. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into layers 1 through 2. For these layers here, go into the bottom of the aircraft. We're going to be going ahead and going to this second green terracotta block for the engine here. We're going to place down a uh, diorite top slab, followed by a second diorite top slab back from that. We're going to go and then place down a diorite full block, and on both sides of this full block, we want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull to both ends. After that's done, uh, we're going to go and then take our diorite blocks. We're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 blocks down the center. To the sides here, we're going to place down a smooth quartz full block, so to both sides. An item frame coming off those full blocks, and in that item frame, we're going to place down a iron bar. 
This is a feature we're going to be able to do on Java. Um, if you are on Bedrock, you not be you will not be able to place the item frame in the same space here as the skeleton skull, unfortunately. So you can either choose to get rid of the skeleton skull or just not include the item frame. Um, either way, um, you know you get <laughs> you'll have to figure out something to work for that. Uh, just unfortunate the difference in versions. But yeah, that's a Java only feature Bedrock. You will not you have to pick and choose what you want to have that in that block space. Anyways, once you get to this point here, underneath the quartz blocks, we're going to place down two iron trap doors to both sides, and we also want to place down iron trap doors on the sides of those blocks. Now we're going to then use a debug stick, and we're going to change the um, selected open to true for these trap doors here to kind of close them up like so. And again, if you do not have access to that feature for whatever reason, you can use birchwood trap doors instead on the sides there and close those up for the same kind of effect. Anyways, after we have that done, we're going to then place down a dire wall to both sides of this block right here. And continuing on with this uh, row in the middle, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, um, or sorry, it can be 9 blocks in total. So 9 blocks back, and then we want to go and then switch to our direct top slabs, in which we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, and then we're going to place down a row in 1 and 2 of iron trap doors, like that. After that's done, go ahead and go into the sides now, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Die right upside down stairs, same thing here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we then want to go ahead and take our die right walls and place down 1, 2, 1, 2 on both sides. And then taking our white stained glass panes, 1, 2, and 1, 2 on the sides there. After that's all complete, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a polished die right upside down stair around this block. So right between this last row of kind of upside down stairs, this middle block here coming down like so. We're going to place down an upside down stair. And we're going to follow it up by placing down 1, 2, and 3 iron trap doors in front of it just like that and once we have that done the last thing for us to do here is to go ahead and go to this upside down diorite stair on the back here and we're just going to place down a polished black stone top seb on the bottom of it like that for the rear landing gear anyways that right there is going to basically wrap up what we have here for layers one through two and with that we'll go ahead and move on to layer number four all right guys going ahead and move into our next layer we have layer number four for layer four to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of the siren trap door and coming off that green terracotta block we're going to place down a zombie head coming off the side of the block facing forward like so after that going back from the green terracotta block uh, we're going to count back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve green terracotta blocks back followed by a dark oak wood stair on top of that iron trap door and then a dark oak wood slab going back from the stair like so after that working our way out to the sides here we're going to place down a light or just a green stained glass pane here to the side of the green terracotta block. We're going to go then place down an end rod coming off that pane, followed by a chain like that coming off the end rod. And then going back from that, we're going to then take our mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down two walls back, and then one, two, three, four, five green terracotta blocks, two mossy cobblestone walls, a dark oak wood stair, and we're going to then place down one and two zombie heads like that on the side of the green terracotta block and the dark oak wood stair. After that's all finished there, uh, we want to go and then place down a daylight detector on top of this trap door and we're going to then go back from the daylight detector with two dark oak wood slabs and two daylight or detectors or sorry one daylight detector back and then a dark oak wood trap door after we have that done we're going to repeat the same row two more times to the side so just like this so we get this section here now one thing to mention is that the daylight detectors will cause the trap doors to open. If that's the case, you can use your debug stick here to close the trap doors back up. Or uh, you can use virtual trap doors instead and close those manually. Either one will work for the bottom there. Anyways, moving to this section here, we're going to go and then place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 dark oak wood stairs along that section there. Go ahead and moving toward the front here, we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls. And we're going to then place down a green stained glass pane. Moving toward the rear, however, uh, we're going to take our mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to place in our row of one, two, three, four, five walls back, followed by one and two green stained glass panes, a white stained glass pane, and then one, two, and three green stained glass panes back from that. After that's done, our next row here, we're going to go and place down a dark oak trap door on top of this green terracotta block, and also on the bottom here of this green terracotta block here, we should have a iron trap door. So uh, you'll have that iron trap door on the bottom of those blocks like that on there on the front anyways after that dark oak wood uh, trap door we're going to place down a daylight detector followed by a dark oak wood slam green terracotta block again close the trap door if the daylight detector does open it we're going to go, <coughs> oh, excuse me we're going to then place down a zombie head on both sides of this green terracotta block and then going back from the block we're gonna, down the center we're going to place down one 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 blocks back. Followed by a smooth quartz block on top of this one. And one quick adjustment here, we're actually going to go ahead and move this white stained glass pane back one, so it's right here, and this green stained glass block like that. So the glass pane here should line up with the smooth quartz block. Anyways, after that, we're taking our green terracotta, we're going to continue going back for a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 back. On the very back here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair. On both sides of the stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign. And we then just want to go ahead and grab a zombie head, and we're going to place down a zombie head coming off the stair like that toward the rear there. We then want to grab our dark oak wood trap doors. We're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door on this inside green terracotta block. And on the outside here, we're going to place down dark oak wood trap doors along those three green terracotta blocks. We're going to go then take our green stained glass panes and place down a row of one, two. Well, on the side here, after those trap doors, white stained glass pane, one, two, three. Uh, green stained glass panes, and then one, two, three, four, and five mossy cobblestone walls. Followed by a row of five of dark oak wood stairs. Then a row of two mossy cobblestone walls, and then one green stained glass pane like that in there in the front. After we have that all done there, in the middle section here, we're going to take our dark oak wood slabs and just run a row all the way across those iron trap doors. So it's going to be a row all the way across. Our next row here, going from the sides, we're going to place down two daylight detectors. And we're going to then place down a dark oak wood fence gate, which we're going to open up toward the rear of the aircraft. We then want to place down an air daylight detector, and in the center here, we're going to place down a zombie head like so. Next row here, across the back, we're just going to go ahead and place our dark oak wood trap doors all the way across the back here, like so. After we have that done, if uh, any of your iron trap doors open up on the bottom here, same drill. Uh, we're just going to close these using our um, debug stick, or you can go ahead and use a birch wood trap door in its place instead. Anyways, uh, with that done, we have our twin booms done in the horizontal stabilizer on the rear. We're going to go ahead and start moving into the wings. For the wings here, we're going to place down two daylight detectors, like this to the side, two dark oak wood slabs. And we're going to then place down an air set of two dark oak wood slabs, an air two daylight detectors, and an air two dark oak wood trap doors, like that. Again, same thing on the bottom here, the trap doors, close them or replace them. Once we get to uh, this point here, we're going to take our dark oak wood slabs and we're going to do a row of four. So one, two, three, four. We then want to do a dark oak wood stair, like this, followed by a green terracotta block behind the stair, a narrow dark oak wood stair over here, and then a dark oak wood slab. We're going to go and then grab ourselves some smooth quartz here, as we're going to need these as we progress into this section here of the aircraft. And for this, we're going to be placing down a upside down polished direct stair, like so. And then we're going to place down a polished direct full block, followed by a green terracotta block, and then a dark oak stair, like so. After that's done, taking our polished direct blocks, uh, we're going to go and place down a row of one and two top slabs here, an upside down stair, and then an air top slab just like that. And then we're going to then do a row of four of polished ASA top slabs, or polished direct top slabs across. At this point here, uh, we're going to then place down a direct wall, come off this block here, and then two di direct top slabs going, or actually sorry, one direct top slab going forward, and then we're going to follow it up and place down an iron trap door in front of that top slab. Once we have that done, we're going to place down a iron trap door come off the wall, top slab here, iron trap door, and we're going to then do a row of three iron trap doors, and we're going to follow this up with another row of three, and then one coming off the center there, just like that. And you're going to take the same thing, copy it over to the other side, and once you have that done here, this is what it'll look like from up above with that all complete. Uh, one thing I want to go ahead and mention also is we do have a gun mounted on the inside here that's going to be coming off this daylight detector, so an end rod, and then a chain coming off like that for those 20 millimeter cannons there. And one thing we're also going to be going ahead and adding on to the bottom here is a little um, kind of instrument or something that sticks at the bottom here. So for this, uh, we're going to be going ahead and going to the bottom of these walls here. We're going to kind of build the side here and place down a lever. And we're going to go and use our debug stick to go ahead and select the face to the ceiling. And we're going to then select the facing to have it face forward toward the front of our aircraft. Then coming off the lever, we're going to place down an end rod. So just like that, and the same thing will be done over on the other side of the aircraft as well. And once we have that all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for uh, layer number four for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to the second green terracotta block here in the front. We're going to place down a dark oak slab on top of it. Coming off that dark oak slab, we're going to place down an end rod. And then coming off the end rod, we're going to place down a chain. 
After that, going back from the slab, we're going to place down a dark liquid snare, followed by two green terracotta blocks. If you do want to build an interior for the aircraft, you can leave the next four block spaces left open. Um, however, for us, we're going to go ahead and black it out with some black concrete because we will not be doing an interior in this tutorial. Anyways, after that row of four blocks, we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks, an anvil, and then a zombie head uh, right here on top of this green terracotta block in front of the anvil. On both sides of the anvil, we're going to place down a dark liquid sign like so, and then we're going to then place down one and two green stained glass panes going toward the front, and then one, two, three, four mossy cobblestone walls toward the front, then one and two green stained glass panes like that toward the front also. We want to go then place down a zombie head here, come off the stairs there to both sides. After that's done, go ahead and moving out to our booms here. We're going to go to the green terracotta blocks, so this third one from the front. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten dark oak wood trapdoors back like that. After that, on the back here, we want to go and then place down a stripped spruce wood block on top of this green terracotta block, and there a green terracotta block here, and we're going to then place down a dark oak wood button to both sides of that green terracotta block. We're going to place down there a green terracotta block forward, and then a, moss, or a green stained glass pane like that on the front there of that block. After we have that all done, uh, we then want to go ahead and go to the inside here for horizontal stabilizers. We're going to go ahead and place down a block like this and a lever coming off that block and using our debug stick again. We're going to go ahead and select the um, face to be the floor and then we're going to select the phasing so that we have it face toward the front of the aircraft like so. And then coming off of it we're going to very simply just place down a N rod like that sticking off of it facing toward the front there of the aircraft. Once we have that done, going ahead and moving into our wings here. Uh, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some green carpet some dark oak wood fence posts, dark oak wood trap doors, daylight detectors, and some end rods. We're going to start off by going ahead and taking our green carpet, and we're going to place down two green carpet on those two um, inside, or, uh, those two direct full blocks. And we're going to then place down a dark oak wood fence post, and then three green carpet back. And then from that, we want to go ahead and... Actually, sorry, it's going to be four green carpet like this, then the dark oak wood fence post, and then our three green carpet back. After we get to this point here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door here, followed by two green carpets back. We're going to go and then place down two dark oak wood trap doors, followed by one green carpet. And then we get to this point here, we're going to place down a daylight detector. And then we're going to place down our two dark oak wood trap doors back from the daylight detector. We then want to place down two daylight detectors, and then a dark oak wood trap door. And lastly, on this, uh, this uh, iron trap door here, we're going to place down a... Um, daylight detector and we're just going to place down two end rods going forward from it and after that we just want to go ahead and take our debug stick select the trap door and we want to make sure that we have it selected open to false so we close those up and again we can use birchwood trap doors instead um, anyways that right there is going to cover what we have here for layer number five for the aircraft and uh, with that we'll go ahead and move into layer number six Alright guys, so we're going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number 6. For layer 6 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down another brick stair on top of this green, second green terracotta block here, and then going back from that stair, we're going to place down four black stained glass blocks. We then want to place down a dark oak wood slab, a daily detector, followed by another dark oak wood slab, and this dark oak wood slab is going to have a sign on both sides. We're going to go then place down another daylight detector here, and then two uh, chains that go back from that daily detector like so. After that's done, we want to go and then grab our black stained glass panes into the side of those four black stained glass blocks. We're going to place down four glass stained glass, four black stained glass panes along the sides there. After that, going ahead and moving back to our vertical stabilizers, we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks here, a dark oak wood button on both sides of the second block, and then a spruce wood block on top of this one. And that right there is going to conclude what we have there for layer number six for the build. And with that, we're going to move into our final layers here, which will consist of, looks like, layers seven, eight, and nine. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our last final layers, we have layers seven through nine. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and going to the top here of the cockpit. We're going to place down a dark oak wood uh, slab, or dark oak trap door like right there, followed by two daylight detectors, turn to night mode, and then a another dark oak wood uh, trap door there on the end and after we have that all done uh, we want to go and then go to the rear of the aircraft and we're going to go ahead and go to our vertical stabilizers we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this one here followed by two green terracotta blocks up a green stained glass pane on top of this wall here dark cuckoo buttons on the sides of those two green terracotta blocks and then two granite walls here on the back and then a dark cuckoo slab on the very top there we're going to go ahead and go over to this vertical stabilizer and do the same exact thing. 
so just like this and you have your vertical stabilizers complete and with that that's the structure of the aircraft complete we're going to go ahead and grab some materials to go ahead and make our propellers so for this we're going to need a birchwood slam and we can go and then grab ourselves some polished blackstone slabs and stairs and also we're going to need a birchwood stair for our propellers here super simple design um, using a lot of my aircraft we're going to go to this trap door here we're going to delete this and place down two polished blackstone top slabs over followed by a birchwood top slab we then want to go ahead and go up and at an angle place down a polished blackstone stair so followed by a second stair and then we're going to place down a birchwood slab and then going downwards we're going to place down a birchwood upside down stair like so or sorry a polished blackstone upside down stair followed by another stair like this a polished blackstone and then an upside down polished blackstone stair after that and that's going to pretty much do it for your prop you're going to do the same thing over here as well so i'm going to go and do this a little bit quicker but it's just the same thing here on both sides we're just kind of mirroring it over so just like this and then drop down like so and just like that we have our uh, props created and we have the aircraft all done and finished so anyways guys that right there is going to wrap up my tutorial here for the Savoy uh, Savoya uh, Marchetti SM91. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to use. If you do want to use this build, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for this being linked from a solid build link to my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. And as long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to for a project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun and all that fun stuff. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, again, big special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. Anyways, with that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.